Today we're going to practice finding the missing score when given a certain mean that we're trying to achieve. As I read this problem to you, some of the important information is already highlighted, but I'm going to re-highlight the important information so that we know what we're solving for. Jill has scores of 86, 89, 95, and 98 on algebra quizzes. There will be one more quiz. What must Jill's fifth score which we're going to call X, B, to have an average score of at least 93. Please remember that to find the average of something, you're adding up all of the values and then dividing by how many values there are. The easiest way to solve this is to write an equation. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add up all the scores you know. So her first score is an 86, 89, 95, and 98. Now, I do not know what my fifth score is going to be, so I'm going to use a variable there. I'm going to say that my fifth score is x. If I want to find the average of these scores, I add them all up and then divide by how many numbers there are. There are five numbers in this set, so I am going to divide all of these by five. I know that I want my average to be 93, so I am going to set up an equation where I take the sum of all the numbers, including my x, divide it by how many there are, and there are 5. That should give me 93, which is going to be my average. Now all you have to do is solve this multi-step equation. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to simplify the top of that fraction. If I add all of those values up, I get 368, so I'm going to simplify this to be 368 plus x divided by 5 equals 93. Now this is a multi-step problem. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get rid of that divided by 5, so you're going to multiply both sides by 5. You don't touch the numerator, so you're going to rewrite 368 plus x. 93 times 5 is 465. This is now a one-step problem. We know how to finish this. We're going to subtract 368 from both sides. 465 minus 368 is 97, which means that Jill needs to get a 97 on her test in order to have an average of 93.